Now we will discuss about the pharyngeal pouches. Here this is endodermal lining. This endodermal lining here between two adjacent mesodermal thickness form the pouch. So this is first pouch, this is first pouch, this is second, this is third, this is fourth pouch. What is the what is the fate of these pouches? So here you can see this is dorsal part of first and also second. This is mesodermal thickening between first and second. So this is first, this is second pouch. Ventral part of second pouch forms the this is tonsil. You can see in this diagram, this is first pouch, this is second pouch, this is third pouch, this is fourth pouch, some part of fifth pouch is also joined with this. This is tubo tympanic recess, this is dorsal part of the first and second pouch for the this recess, this is known as tubo tympanic recess. It forms middle ear cavity, auditory tube, and part of tympanic membrane. Here, this you can see this is second. This is this is first and second dorsal part. This is ventral part of the second. This is ventral part of second. It forms the tonsil. This is tonsil. This is third. Dorsal part of the third form the parathyroid. This is parathyroid third. And its ventral part extends into the neck and also in the thoracic region. This is thymus. So this is thymus of one side. This thymus joins with the thymus of opposite side like this. And these two joins with each other. And the thing here is This is parathyroid. Fourth. And this is lateral thyroid. This is lateral thyroid. So fourth. Dorsal part of the fourth form the parathyroid four. And ventral part form the lateral thyroid this lateral thyroid this joins with the thyroid gland and it also form the ultimo branchial body here parafollicular cells or c cells are present so these structures derive from pouches first second third fourth first second third fourth pharyngeal pouches. Thank you.